Collector. So today on the channel, we got ourselves quite a treat. Uh, we got ourselves a Cobra Commander, otherwise known as a Coco, a mail away Coco, <laughs> Cobra Commander uh, from the Hiss HasLab. We will be opening it. Uh, originally, I only ordered one. But thankfully, I have friends in the community that uh, were not so um, short-sighted as I was. <laughs> um, and uh, I managed to get a hold of a second one for retail plus shipping. So it always pays to have friends in the community. Um, you know, that several people were ordering six, seven of these things uh, initially. Uh, but... You know, I thought one would be fine, and then, oh man, nope, I'm gonna need two. And so, because I have two, I can keep I can keep one to rock and one to stock. So we'll be opening this Cobra Commander, and I mean, I really wanted one to open anyways, because you know, I just need a Cobra Commander in his old school uniform uh, to, uh, you know, display and uh, you know, add him to the hiss and whatnot. I think he'd make great addition to some of the um, scenes as well. So critical, critical. I know we have that other Cobra Commander and I know he's got kind of a updated look to him, but uh, I'm, I've always been partial to this look. So let's get into it. Let's do some nerve. Why does it feel like a criminal offense? I feel <laughs> some kind of way about this, but here we go. Here we go, carefully slicing this open. C carefully, carefully. I might speed this up. All right, let's cut here. Or I might just take the tray out initially and then um, work on the rest of it later. So there's that. Oh. oh, so much for carefully. Let's uh, let's cut up this way a little. Let's see if I don't slice my finger open. That's always a good look. Oh, there goes the street pole. No one ever said I'm a super careful opener. So there's that. Uh, let's pop this tray out. Oh, man, I'm going to make a mess of this card. I mean, but that's what we say, right? We're just going to open it. Here we go. Let me cut around here so we can just open this right up. There we go. Come on now. Is it as nerve wracking to you as it is to me? <laughs> all right, we've got this part out, all of his accessories. So we'll get to those in a minute. I always love that pointy finger. Now let's pop this open. Oh, it's gotta come all the way over. There it goes the light pole again. Come on now, get the light pole back up here. Let's open this up. There we go. I will be keeping the file card. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but very cool. So, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to show us the packaging here. I mean, we've already popped it open. So here, here's the packaging, very reminiscent of what we remember him as Cobra Commander, right? Uh, and of course, you can pause that there to see if you want to read it. Um, and of course, uh, where is it? The Mickey Mouse ears as featured on the mail away version of them. So there he is, the card. Am I keeping this? Yeah, I said I was gonna keep the back part of it. All right, let's get to the Coco. Cobra Commander, pop him right out of there. Let's get to all his accessories in a moment. Let's see what he feels like. Yeah, yeah, this is exactly what I envisioned for the classified line. This is exactly what I envisioned. And there's his Mickey Mouse logo right there. <laughs> Visually, again, I score my figures from one to five. One is complete trash, throw it in the dumpster. Uh, two is give it to Goodwill, maybe somebody else will love it. Three is meh, take it or leave it. Anything from four to four and a half is a solid figure. Uh, anything uh, from four and a half to five is a great figure. And anything um, 
from uh, anything at 5.1 is a turn it up to 11, like uh, Spinal Tap, it's a must have. So, looking at this figure, aesthetically, it's exactly what it was promised to be. Um, and, and, you know, this is one of the ones, and you know what, I'm gonna be biased to this, and because I, I always wanted another one of these Cobra Commanders at the, at the classified line, and that's exactly what they've given us here. And I know some of you are gonna say, well, it's unfair because I, I can't uh, get one. I mean, you can, and it doesn't have to cost as much as that, but you are gonna pay for it. Um, to me, this Cobra Commander, don't get sad now. He's a turn it up to 11. He's a 5.1, he's a must have aesthetically. We haven't rated any articulation yet, just aesthetically, it's exactly what I wanted and exactly what was promised to me. 5.1, it's a must have. This is what I envisioned in the cartoons. This is what I saw when I was a kid. It's what's in that picture right there. Uh, vote for Cobra Commander for a change. <laughs> You'll definitely get a change then. So um, anyways, yeah, uh, for sure. You know, 5.1, it's it's um, visually, it's a must. Uh, it's what I remember. It's, it's, it's iconic to the line. All right, let's get into the articulation. I haven't played with it at all. You guys see, I just opened up the package, unboxing. Look at that. This is perfect. I wouldn't say perfect, but it is great. That articulation in the head, very nice. Looks way down, looks way up. Good articulation there to the side. Nothing wrong with that. High score. Let's see his arms. Ooh, perfect T-pose. Ooh, perfect T-pose. No, it's not unduly tight. Uh, there is a little bit of gappiness there, but eh, it does seem strong though, so that's fine. Let's bring that down to the sides. I'd like his arms to go further down, but that's okay. That's okay. All right, let's uh, double jointed pinless, not too tight, double jointed pinless elbow. Very nice. And he has, let's see, you know what? Let me get some light on this. There we go. That might work better. And that is a up and down. That is a, uh, a you know, dice roll. And this is a, looks like it's a dice roll as well. Yep, it's a dice roll. So you've got two dice roll hands by default on him. So that's very cool. All right. Now let's see, uh, let's look at him. No torso cut. But he does have, very nice, oh, do I dare? <laughs> let's see, let's see what his crunch is. He can go back, not a lot of crunch there, maybe it's just mine, but he does have upper crunch, doesn't have a lot of back crunch. It, that's enough though, it's good. But I'd like to see more, but he does have front crunch there, so. I mean, he is Cobra Commander though, I don't think he needs that much, but anyways, he got a lot to the front, okay to the back that's okay uh drop down knees there cut oh let me see ah uh, very smooth very smooth cut at the waist very nice does have a ball joint there like most joes drop down hips cut at the thigh double jointed Ooh, that's gonna be tough oh it's one of these there it goes not too bad not too bad double jointed penless knees looking nice does he have i noticed this on the driver he he does he has a he does he has a boot cut but it's more like them stylish boot cuts <laughs> like those low i don't know what they call them those little boots booties that guys that super stylish guys wear i don't know but he has a little boot cut down here at the bottom ankle pivot can go that far oh nice down that far up very nice so very good uh, let's bring his knife sheath up. I don't, I don't remember if that was all the way up or down. Let's bring it up some more. Because I don't want it to fall off. Oh, this is going to be it. Do I want to glue this on or do I want to leave this off? I don't know. This doesn't seem to... This is a little bit... So here you see a little bit of a whipping with this guy. That's all right. Sometimes they got that. 
You know, guys, I was, on a separate note, I was thinking about another video. Uh, I think I'm going to make a video about how I fix some of my Joes because some people have asked, hey, I noticed you talking about you did this, you did that. What does that mean? Well, they're very simple fixes. And, you know, maybe we can talk about that as well. Uh, what I do to fix them, like if I were to get a tight spot or something that needed some quick fixing, I won't go into the big stuff. That big stuff is just too involved, but simple fixes. Yeah, you know, that we can all do together. All right, so articulation-wise, what do I give them? 5.1 for aesthetics. Articulation-wise, I like the boot cut. Uh, I, you know, only thing I, I didn't like was that his arms don't go quite as low as I'd like them to be, and he has a little bit of gappiness there, but that's, you know, that's ticky-tacky stuff. I'm gonna give him a 4.7. 4.7 for articulation, because he's had, he hits all the right spots, no, um, you know, no pins in the joints. Just really great, really great figure. Really great. All right. So there he is. There. Now, let's take a look at the accessories, why don't we? We've got his little backpack right here. Fits on the back there. What is that? It's a little Cobra, Mickey Mouse Cobra emblem. So there's that. He has, oh, the the world encircled by a engulfed by a cobra simulating how cobra is going to take over the world in 2024 <laughs> anyways get in trouble with all that mess come on get out of here you oh man this knife what is up with this knife why do you not want to be nice knife this way or that way? This way or that way? Which way do you want to go? All right, we'll go this way then, because you can bend better. There we go. All right, it's out, it's out. Super bendy, none worse for wear. Got a gold tip there at the back, and that's that. All right, there's a knife, very simple. And the classic Cobra Commander gun. I'm not sure what kind of Noel rays he shoots out of there. But uh, here it is, very reminiscent or exactly like, maybe they just scaled it up, his old weapon. There it is. Not sure what that, that's a, you know, made up weapon. And now he's got his different hands here. I love the different styles of hands that he comes with. Because um, now he can have all kinds of different styles, right? Well, it went somewhere. <laughs> is that one, that one? And there's that one. Let me go find the other one. Well, I can't blame it on the carpet monster because I got hardwood floors in here. So um, that makes it, might even make it even worse. All right. So what does he have here? He has two trigger weapons for default or two trigger hands by default. So there's that one pair. Two, he has two fists. That's another pair. So that's two pairs. And the third pair, which is one is kind of like a, you know, world dominating uh, type of hand there, type of angry hand. Uh, and the pointy hand. I love these. I love the point. Point is good for many things. All right. So that's what we have for Cobra Commander. Um, let's, uh, let's gear him up a little bit because that's fun. Let's put this thing on the back here. Is that how it goes? You guys can yell at me later. That's not how it goes. You done messed it up. Does it go like that? <laughs> how many people are going to be? No. Does it go like this? Uh, this looks better to me. That looks better to me, but I could be completely wrong. Look at how it's curving a little bit. Y'all see that? I like that I had to put some heat on it. This goes in here. A little knife there's that and let's see let's do a world domination no we don't need to put that on here it's just the world domination cobra logo thing um what do we you know what i want to put this in his hand here which one is he pointing with now he's pointing with this one so he's gonna have to put this one here and we'll compare his size in a minute i know i'm infamous for not comparing him to other figures. You guys let me know about that quick. <laughs> Why don't you put him next to another one? 
So there's that, there's that. Pop this off. That was easy though. A lot of times these are really hard. That was easy. I will say this one thing about Joe's are pretty easy to swap out hands. There's one thing that I wish Bobby would do a little better with Valiverse because Valiverse and G.I. Joe to me are my bread and butter. I always like those. Uh, his first set, um, his first set is a uh, uh, of uh, Valiverse was tough to get the hands. Second set is better, or second, I think he started with series three or two. They're a little easier to swap out hands, uh, but they're still kind of tough. You gotta heat them up a little bit. I don't mind doing it. I just wish that it was simpler, uh, but I don't want them falling off. I don't know. Uh, I, I just like the way, you know, the GI Joe's version have the swap out hands a little better, but you know, I still love Valiverse, still love my GI Joe's. So let's see. All right, let's be pointing at something. You. You. <laughs> Come here, you. All right. Let's stand him up next to, I think I have Destro. Destro, are you in there? Go away. Cool. You sounded like Destro. He's in there. All right. Well, after much cajoling, how about that? Never thought I'd use that word for my English teacher. After much cajoling and haranguing. How about that? <laughs> how do you like that word? Ah, oh, Miss Patrick, you taught me well. All right. After much encouragement, we have Mr. Destro out of his hiss. He did not want to come out of his hiss whatsoever. So... How do these guys compare in size? Well, let's let's get in there and find out. Let me bring this down a little bit so you guys can get a better picture of it. Put this up a little bit so you guys can see a little better as well. So how do they compare in size? Well, it looks like Cobra Commander is just a little bit taller to retro classified Destro. Look at that. Would you believe it? Destro's thicker for sure. He's more swole. <laughs> but Cobra Commander is taller. So there you go. Um, so overall, you know what? There's one thing that I said I was going to get into as well. Uh, just because, you know, the, you know, the don't want YouTube to say, well, this just gets to you. Um, the... The Scalper McScalperson. Scalpy McScalperson? Yes. Scalpy McScalperson value on this. Uh, I'm going to put a rating system right over here as to what it is. Um, he's, he's, he's definitely he's definitely a 5. E even, even actually a 5.1. Uh, because this guy is going to go... I mean, if we take, if we take what his value would be, you know, 20, between 20 and 25 bucks... I think he's going for right now, let me check. So upon checking the evil bay, um, it's not evil. I mean, sometimes it does, you know, sometimes I'm looking for stuff and it helps me find stuff. You know, it's, it's, it's a necessary evil. How about that? It is what it is. It's a trading. Sometimes it's helped me. Sometimes it's been a bane, but I mean, it's, nobody's forcing us to buy stuff from, you know, evil bay or eBay. It is what it is. Anyways, uh, taking a look at the prices on there, he's definitely a five to me, which is like going for, you know, four to five times what he would be worth at retail, which is about, you know, GI Joe's regularly priced between 20, 25 bucks. He's going for well over a hundred dollars, not well over, but usually between, uh, what, are, what was it between like 95 and 110. So he's definitely, he's definitely up there. He's a high, high in demand figure. Uh, with with the low print run, you know these figures are run in in you know I, I would think the MOQ or the minimum order quantity I think is what it's called uh, for these figures would be well into the hundred thousand uh, for retro or for Zorana, so um, Destro or Zorana. So I, I would think he, him being only what it was, it was about like twenty nine thousand or twenty three thousand units. That's it. That's all you're ever going to get out of this guy. So um, he's he's definitely a scarce uh, commodity. So you you will not be finding him at Ollie's <laughs> or Ross. Um, this is one of those that 
you had to um, you had to actually go out there and order. So um, you know, to, in order to get this in, like I said, I was short sighted and only got the one. Uh, but then I had good friends in the community that said, "Hey, we'll hook you up for you know price plus shipping," and uh, you know they came through. So I really appreciate that. Um, anyways, guys, that's that's it. Um, I'm you know overall com combined, what would we score this particular figure? Ultimately, I'm gonna say this figure at a at a 5.1 for iconic appearance and exactly what we asked for, and then at a 4.7 for articulation. I mean, together I would say he's a five. Uh, not a 5.1, not a must-have, because we have other Cobra Commanders, and he's definitely lacking a bit on articulation. But he is an iconic-looking fellow. His articulation is a tiny bit lacking, so he's definitely a 5.0. A fantastic, a great figure to have in your collection. If you didn't get the HasLab, see if you can get it for a third of the price of a Hiss. For, you're probably going to get it for about 100 Now, is it going to go up in value? You know, I... Seeing as they're not going to make any more of these, probably, uh, probably. Now, some people are saying, well, they're going to do another version of him. More than likely, yes, they will use this same buck, only with maybe a different emblem here and maybe a different, you know, helmet or something. Something will be different. The colorization will be darker, lighter, something. It won't be this one. Um, so if you're willing to, you know, pass on that, then by all means, you know, go ahead. But this look to me is iconic and I, this is the look I wanted. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Oh, I'd be remiss. We have a new winner and uh, I believe his name is, well, I'm just going to put his name right here and then I'm going to be quiet so I can say it. Pure soul. Let's claim that Ross Viper three pack. You got 48 hours. Contact me. I want to give it away eventually. Somebody will contact me. I'm going to reach out in the comments for you and let you know you won since the other uh, since Daniel didn't contact me. And uh, we'll go from there. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for engaging. And um, yeah, let's continue to have fun. Um, let's continue to, uh, to, you know, to enjoy the, the holidays, you know, uh, spend some time with your family, uh, spend some time cracking open some toys, smiling, having a good time. Work's always going to be there. You're never going to sit there and go, gosh, if only I had finished that last spreadsheet. No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> so remember during Christmas what matters. Remember during the holidays what matters. I know everybody, you know, celebrates a different thing and that's fine. That's good. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, as long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep rolling these out.